need custom firmware for this um just keep that in mind so if you don't have the custom firmware this won't work all right so let's get started first off you're gonna download this file right here from the link in the description and you're gonna go to this site right here and once you download that you're gonna get that and you're gonna extract it and you're gonna get these two files and what you wanna do now is connect your PSP through USB okay and go into your PSP go into PSP game and you are going to drag and drop this I'm sorry this into the PSP game folder and yours will not say this mine says this because I already have it but I'll go ahead and copy um I'll go ahead and copy everything over just to show okay so there we go your the emulator is installed and now we need to get games to get games go to the second site in the description it's gonna be a dope ROMs page and there's tons of games on here and we're just gonna get uh, Super Mario All-Stars just to show you and these games run really smoothly you may have some trouble running Donkey Kong Country but you can change up the settings and you can get the game running at a hundred percent I've done it before but um I forgot it's been a while since I played Donkey Kong on my PSP but oh well so yeah just save the game you know I'm gonna need to extract it with WinRAR okay it's done now you can leave here's the game I just downloaded you can leave it as a zip file or if you're having trouble having issues with speed you can extract it I'm just going to go ahead and extract it okay so here's the game and uh, let's move some of this clutter away okay so here's the game and you need to go back into the PSP and into the SNES file you just made and you need to right click make a new folder called ROMs because you're not going to have it okay I already put the game in here so it's in here but you're just gonna what you're going to do is you're just going to copy the game you download it and put it in here and yeah just copy and replace just to show you alright so it's a new, so yeah I just copied it you're, but you're gonna have to make a folder called ROMs. You're not gonna have that folder. You're gonna have to make it. Just um, go into it and make a folder called ROMs, and you'll put all your games in here that you download. Okay. And now let me show you the emulator. Okay, so we're at the PSP right now, and I'm going to show you the emulator. It's gonna be under the game section, and there it is. Okay, so we're just gonna want to start that up right now. and there it is it's a very nice simulator yeah those, that's just the creator of it okay and here's the game we got oh yeah I forgot to tell you um when you first um, use a simulator because my PSP I've used it before um you're gonna want to it's gonna it's gonna show up a bunch of letters when you first go into it you're just gonna scroll all the way down and press X or circle it doesn't matter and then you'll come here and then you're gonna um, press circle on the folder that says ROMs and then you're gonna be here okay so to run a game just press circle once you do that I just said okay and you see how mine is full screen when you first use your when you first select the game it will not be full screen for you so to make it full screen just press home go over to video 
scroll down video mode and yours is going to be on 4 by 3 go press up change it to full screen then press circle and press x to go back into the game and it'll be full screen hold on let me show you some gameplay on it You can either move with the analog stick or the um, the D-pad. It doesn't matter. That's enough of that for now. Okay, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.